January the 11th, 2015. Guys, I got a little cold, so excuse my voice. Everyone's aware of the Paris demonstrations today. They put 40 of the world's leaders out front. None of them look very happy except maybe a boss there. He's grinning at Merkel. But over in the left there, Benjamin Netanyahu does not look like he's real happy. Some guy standing behind him. And who's that, Sarkovsky back there the, holding their arms together? Guys, they're going to do the same thing February the 18th at the White House. They're going to call it the Global Security Summit. There's Eric Holder, part of this bunch, flown in overnight. Now, how did they coordinated this, guys, like a grand event hours after they supposedly killed the last terrorist. Grand event. Now, how does this work? What are they doing? We know that uh, the world leaders are putting together the new world order. It goes back to the Illuminati, the people that have ruled this planet forever. They're still doing it. Now, here's just kind of on the side, though. Boko Haram militants opened fire on northern Nigerian villages, killing 2,000 people. They got tanks. See this, guys? 2,000 in just this attack this week. 2,000 displaced 20,000 but they've been doing this village after village and they took over a military base there now do you see 3 million people and 40 world leaders gathered together over these 2,000 deaths this week is or do you see them marching into Africa no because this is part of the plans to let this destruction go on but the grand scheme of things guys is the final solution and that's the real meaning of this gathering of the 40 world leaders now and in February the 18th, 2015, in Washington, D.C. It goes back to this man, Albert Pike. When I was in D.C. this past spring, I walked past the statue several times. It's over between the Department of Labor and the Municipal Building. But it said Albert Pike is the only Confederate military officer or figure to be honored with an outdoor statue in Washington, D.C., the monument can be found in Judiciary Square. The bronze standing figure, Brigadier General Pike, honors him as an author, poet, jurist, orator, scholar, soldier, philanthropist, philosopher, and 33-degree Freemason. The statue of Albert Pike is placed on a granite pedestal on which is seated a bronze figure, the goddess of masonry. He is dressed in a double-breasted vest and long coat. Congressman James Richardson from Tennessee introduced the resolution in 1898. It, and he called for the federal government to provide for for this land, for this statue. Now, that happened in 1901. Then they moved it in 77 to begin again. It's 33-degree Mason, right? And they move it between 3rd and 4th Street, probably one-third of the way. But this symbol is called the double-headed eagle of the gosh. And it's long been used as the insignia of the Scottish Rite Mason, but it's the called the double-headed eagle is a hermetic symbol representing the divine generative potency and productive capacity of nature like the human figure with two heads one male one female god in nature or the egyptian osiris and isis it says um, it's um, the oldest crest in the world it was a symbol of power more than two thousand years before the building of king solomon's temple no other heralding bearing, no other emblematic device of, of today can boast such antiquity. Here's the triangle of perfection. They're completing it now. Wisdom, power, and beauty, that's what they say. Made to represent the tetragrammaton, or sacred name of God. Yahweh is the Hebrew vocalization of the tetragrammaton. The two-headed eagles are the coming together of two houses, families, Abraham and Lot through Boaz and Ruth. And you can pause this and read any of it, guys. But the double-headed eagle first originated in the mighty Sumerian city of Lagash. From cylinders taken from the ruins of this ancient city, the double-headed eagle seems to have been known to the kings of the time as the storm bird. From the Sumerians, this symbol passed to the men of Akkad, from whom it was brought to the emperors of the east and west by the Crusades. And is a storm coming indeed, my friends. A storm indeed. What it is is, again, we got to. The Illuminati is running everything it has since the foundation of this nation and goes way back beyond that. But what we're concerned with is since the founding in this nation. Again, this guy, Civil War era, Mexican War. But he wrote some papers and he, he described to his followers how the world was to be handled. 
and how it was to be run. And he described how he wanted the three world wars to go down at that time. These are the letters. It says, the first world war must be brought about in order to permit the Illuminati to overthrow the power of the czars in Russia and of making the country a fortress, a fortress of atheistic communism. The divergences caused by the agent tour or agents of the Illuminati between the British and Germanic empires will be used to foment this war. At the end of the war, communism will be built and in, used in order to destroy the other governments and in order to weaken the religions. And they did, remember? 1871-1898, Otto von Bismarck, who was a friend and co-conspirator with Albert Pike, was instrumental in bringing about the First War. war. They were told what to do. They did it exactly. They're following it lockstep now. We've seen that happen. But the Second World War, continuing, must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences between the fascists and the political Zionists. This war must be brought about so that Nazism is destroyed and the political Zionism be strong enough to institute a sovereign state of Israel and Palestine. Now, guys, this guy was a, wasn't a prophet. He just r run the world as we know it then and as we know it now, as we knew it then. This plan, this Illuminati plan is still there. Just exactly what happened. They created the war. Now, they destroyed Hitler. They've established a military state, I mean a state in Israel. During the Second World War, international communism must become strong enough in order to balance Christendom which would then be restrained and held in check, listen, until the time when we would need it for the final social cataclysm. And after the Second World War, communism was made strong enough to begin taking over weaker governments. And you remember that. Remember Reagan saying, take down that wall? In 1945, the Potsdam Conference between Truman, Churchill, and Stalin, a large portion of Europe, was simply handed over to Russia. And on the other side of the world, after the aftermath of the war with Japan, helped to sweep the tide of communism into China. We've seen every bit of this come true. Now this is the final solution. The Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences called, caused by the agent tour of the Illuminati between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. What are you seeing in Paris today? The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam, the Muslim Arabic world, and political Zionism, the state of Israel, mutually destroy each other. The temple will be trodden underfoot. Meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight, listen, to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economical exhaustion. We, then we shall unleash the nihilist and the atheist, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in all its horror will slowly, will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism, the origin of savagery and of the most bloody turmoils. Then everywhere the citizens, obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries, ISIS, they may add constitutionalists to this, what are they saying that? Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves. Three million people marching in France today. Being pumped up, this crowd mentality. Obliged to defend themselves against the world minorities of revolutionaries. Will exterminate those destroyers of civilization. And the multitude. The disillusioned with Christianity whose diastic di spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction. Listen. Anxious for an ideal, but without knowing where to render its adoration, they will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer. Brought finally out into the public view. Does that sound familiar? This manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement, which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. Guys, we're seeing that come to pass. And these guys, again, have been here for a long time. During the time the Bible was written. 
All of this has been going on since the days of the Sumerians, the Egyptians, up until the present day. And you see it being played out. Very interesting, guys. It's a heads up. Be safe.